you may think this is a video about Fortnite or even Squid Game, but you'd be wrong. This is actually a video about... This is actually a video about friendship, betrayal, and forgiveness. The money would be nice, but I'm going to gain something much sweeter by the end of the video. So we all know the red light, green light game from Squid Game, and this was no different. And by no different, I mean that I started, I stopped, and I started, and I stopped, all the way to that sweet princess at the end of the race. But you see that Deku? Remember him. He doesn't know it yet, but he's the star of this video. Next, I made it to the staircase level. It was basically me being trapped in an empty etcher painting, but this time with a relatively simple way out. Do you get it? Do you get it because the painting is called relative? So I beat the level and look who we saw. Deku. And like his classmates from UA, I guess I'm gonna follow him anywhere. This level was interesting because instead of cutting the outline of a cookie, we walked across the outline. You're the knife. The cookie's been cut. The metaphor here is chilling. So I made short work of that level and moved on to finding the perfect bed for hiding, but no one seemed interested in killing one another, so this one was actually very easy. Plus, I couldn't find Deku. Pause. Now, it was tug of war. So as I thought about my childhood days of getting absolutely destroyed anytime I played this game, I was ready to enact revenge for nine-year-old me. This game was more my speed. The more you press square, the more points you got. So I was off to the races. I hope you've been paying attention to the points and who you could guess is behind me, but they got absolutely wrecked. I almost felt bad. We responded to our win like true professionals. Now it was time for hopscotch. Of course, no one wanted to go, but somehow we were able to gang up on this fish, and he went. I really thought he was gonna die there. So I follow behind him. Everything's going good, look, we jigging. Ah, 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 we're having a great time. Deku goes, I follow him. But then that's where the fun stops. Little did we know, this would be the last time we would hug our new fish friend. Life's funny that way. You hug people, think you'd be able to hug them tomorrow, and then you don't. We quickly mourned and danced our way all the way to the end. I really appreciate it tonight. Here I found a random friend who would stay with me for the rest of the game, making sure we both lasted as long as we could until it was time to play the squid game. Dear finalists, welcome to the final game. In 15 seconds, use your pickaxes to defend yourself. The last player standing will win the game. I didn't want to hit him. He didn't want to hit me. And why would we? We brought each other along as long as we could, only to have to kill each other in the end. That's not what I wanted, but it's what had to be done. With the bowing done, we started our fateful dance. Ooh, 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 ooh. And with that, it was over. Or at least I thought it was. I loaded back in the game thinking I'd be able to forget about what just happened and then I saw Deku. I immediately ran over to what can only be described as a warm embrace. We did everything over. We played red light, green light together. We started the obstacle course together. We even found a third to start a thruple. I couldn't help but stare at what we had accomplished. I found myself tracing along my outline alone only to be quickly reunited with my thruple friend group. Everything was perfect. We even survived the dangers of the night together, giving our Christmas cheer to everyone near. But then we remembered. Tug of war. No one wanted to move. We were frozen. But we knew what we had to do. And thus we began to pull and tug and yank. The seconds turned to minutes, minutes to hours, hours to days, until we gave our last goodbyes. We danced a forbidden dance knowing that one of us would have to perish finally to the hopscotch glass floors. I was going to sacrifice myself, but then Deku did what only Deku would do. Became a hero. And with that, I won. Finally, I had won. But it didn't feel like it. In fact, the more I was told I won, the more I felt like I lost. I quickly left the game. I went right back in. I searched everywhere, every bed, every sheet, every corner. <sighs> but I couldn't find him. I didn't even remember his name. All I remember is that I had won the squid game, but then I remembered I had also lost a friend. 